What do you do exactly? Car hauler. Like how much yearly you can make? Uh, anywhere from like 100, 150 grand. Pretty easy. There's cars driving by really fast, gonna be dangerous or Nobody stores. cares about you, nobody has any respect for you. So if you're in LA, yeah, the, they don't get out of your way at all. You'll feel the wind definitely passing by you, but regular class A, there's no special endorsements or anything like that. You don't need no tankers or hazards or anything. Can you say the hours that you worked? It's uh, 12, 14 hours a day. Uh, most of us start around two in the morning, three in the morning. It does take a lot on your body, working 60, 65, 70 hours a week. And it's a big toll. Yeah. But the money's there. If you had to start over, would you do the same thing or maybe try something else? That's a big one. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a day cab right here, so it's pretty much just local work. Just all around uh, Southern California, basically. Dropping off brand new cars to dealerships. Probably about 99% of the time with this company, at least. Nice. And is it hourly pay or per car? It's hourly, or if you're quick enough, then you get a commission pay uh, per load. Okay. It's uh, professional auto transport. I see. Are they are they hiring? Yellow trucks. Got it. Uh, yeah, I believe they're always hiring, honestly. So you need a, a specific license to drive yeah, this Yeah, it's, it's a Class A. Uh, regular Class A. There's no special endorsements or anything like that. You don't need no tankers or hazards or anything. I'm assuming you need experience, right, driving? Yeah, they want you to have two years of CDL experience. Um, but they also do training as far as if you have no car hauling experience or anything like that. But if you have experience hauling cars with your Class A, it definitely works out better. Yeah, it's Perfect. hourly. So this company does pretty much a flat $30 an hour. And then, it, like I said, if you're really quick, you beat the traffic, then you get a commission pay, which ends up being, can be a little bit better than that. And then some companies will pay you like bonus pay as well, as far as if you uh, have no damages and things like that as well. Can you say the hours that you worked? Uh, for me, it's uh, 12, 14 hours a day. Most of us start around 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, so add 12 hours to that, that's pretty much when we get off, so it's definitely you got to put in a lot of hours, 65 yeah. hours pretty much easily a week. And would you recommend this career to other people? If you're looking for a good paying job, yeah, it's just, you don't have too much time to do a lot of extra stuff, so that's the only thing for sure. If you have family, kids and stuff like that, it makes it hard, but if you come in early enough to beat the traffic, you, you can still have a great life. This was pretty good in the sense that we get weekends off. Nice. So, that's a big thing for me, that's why I'm still here ultimately, honestly. Mm -hmm. Get the weekends off and get to go. Can you say like how much yearly you can make? Uh, anywhere from like 100, 150 grand. Uh, pretty easy. If you had to start over, would you do the same thing or maybe try something else? That's a big one. Um, <laughs> it's been good, I've been doing it for like 10 years. As far as uh, Class A driving, the only thing is going into the future, where is it going to lead? Is it going to be all self-driving vehicles and trucks and all that? So that's the only thing is once I get not that old. So as far as once I really get older and up there in age, can I really keep doing this until mm. until I'm ready to retire? So that would be the only issue with that. And it does take a lot on your body as far as not stopping and working 60, 65, 70 hours a week. It, it's a big toll. Yeah. But the money's there. The money is there. Okay. You can uh, maybe invest that and then get like yeah, dividends exactly start your own business things like that there i actually had my own business at one point but it was going cross country so good money it's just i was didn't want to be on the road no more and be closer to the family was it car hauling same thing yeah car hauling and, okay so if somebody was single you would recommend that path yeah this is over oh, going to college yeah for sure because you get to start making a good amount of money right away okay. the only thing is that you don't really move up you kind of just stick there most uh most of these jobs they don't really have a, a pay increase I see. Uh, I know, it was my own truck. My own truck, my own trailer, it was my own thing. Okay, anything else you want to tell the people? Uh, no, I mean, it's just, it could be good money as long as uh, you stay safe, put the work in. Yeah. But it's a lot of work. A lot of, a lot of hours you got to put in there. Okay. But you get to chill a lot, though, so there's not always somebody breathing down your neck. So there's that yeah. aspect of it that's pretty, it can be pretty good. That's true. Another thing, though, I see is like there's cars driving by really fast, going to be dangerous or have oh, you yeah. seen any you no, have any nobody stories? cares about you nobody has any respect for you so that's definitely a big thing that's uh right here not too bad some of the car move out but if you're in la yeah the, they don't get out of your way at all they'll they'll come pretty close to you um you'll feel the wind definitely passing by you but yeah that's one of the hazards of this job right here compared to regular trucking where you have normally a place that you dock at and you're away from traffic there this right here towing you're right there with the traffic a lot of the time. Just got to watch out. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Yeah.